Hello friends, in the last video we have seen how to create a binary search tree. Now in this video we will see the code for creating that binary search tree. Okay, so see here. We are using a structure whose name is node and inside that structure the variable data of data type integer is declared. Then there are two pointers, one is left pointer and right pointer. So as you know for a node there is a left child and right child. So for the two children here there are two pointers that is left pointer and right pointer. Okay. Now let's go to the main function. So inside the main function we have declared n that is the number of nodes then i i will trace the number of nodes means we will use i for going from node 0 to node n okay now and item item means the value of that node so suppose here these are the elements to be inserted in that binary search tree so the value 5 will be entered as input inside the variable item okay now let's see structure node star p q and root these are the three pointers we are going to use so now let's start the program see printf enter the number of nodes so first you have to take the number of nodes then scanf percentage d at the address of n means you have to take this number of nodes in the variable n. Okay. Now, as you know, in a for loop, we will go from the first element to the last element. Okay. So, from i equal to 0 to n. Right. Now, see, for every node, you have to allocate the memory. So, here, see p is equal to struct node star m alloc size of node right size of struct node means as you know for i equal to 0 for the first loop the element is 5 so for that element 5 you have to create a node means you have to allocate the memory to that node so this is the statement for allocating memory. So, this malloc function allocates the memory to that node. So, size of, so how much memory should be allocated? See here, size of struct node means the size of this structure. So, whatever is the total size of this structure means, see here, 4 bytes, 4 bytes and 4 bytes. So, the total size 12 bytes will be allocated for this node. So, as you know, for the modern day compilers, integer data takes 4 bytes, then a pointer takes 4 bytes. So, left pointer and right pointer take 4 bytes each, right? So, 12 bytes will be allocated to this node. Now, so as the node is created, now you have to scan if the value of that node means you have to take the value of that node from the user so scan if percentage d at the address of item means now the user will enter value 5 he will enter value 5 and we will take that value 5 inside the variable item see here i have written these elements at first but when the program is actually executed at that time user will enter these values one by one means for each for loop for each loop one value will be entered by the user as you know in all c programs how we give input to the program same thing is being followed here now p points data is equal to item so in the variable item you have taken the value 5 
so you will assign this value 5 to the data of that node right now the left pointer will be null and right pointer will become null so in this way you have now created a node for that node the value is 5 the left pointer is null and the right pointer is null okay so for i equal to 0 means for the first element entered by the user you have created a node and you have assigned the values to that node okay so creating a node taking value from the user then assigning that value to the data of that node and left pointer and right pointer so this is the creation of the node okay so you have created the node the value is 5 inside that node and left pointer is null and right pointer is null now what to do with this node how to find its correct position in the binary search tree so see here here the program starts means the actual algorithm starts here so if i equal to equal to 0 then root equal to p so what it means if i is equal to equal to 0 means if it is the first element entered by the user then that element must be the root of the binary search tree as you know we make the first element as the root of that binary search tree so the element 5 will become the root of that binary search tree so see here that is the root now and if this condition is satisfied we will not go into the else because this if is satisfied for this if this is the else so as i is equal to 0 as this if condition is satisfied we will not go into else and we will go to the next for loop okay so now i will become 1 so let's see see this is the first element now so when i becomes 1 the element will be entered by the user that element is 7 we will create the node for that element and after you create the node see this will be the situation now 7 its left pointer will be null and right pointer will be null so this is the creation of that node now you have to find out the correct position of node 7 inside the binary search tree okay so see if i equal to equal to 0 now i is not 0 now i is 1 okay so we will go inside this else as you know in my last video i have told you for every element we start checking from the root so the checking pointer is q we are using pointer q to check the whole binary search tree so q is equal to root so q starts from the root now let's start the checking while one see inside this we will check if p points data is greater than q points data so what is the data of p now p is this means the created node right right just now we created the node p for which the value is 7 and we made pointer q to point to the root means now q points to 5 so check whether 7 is greater than 5 means p value 7 is greater than q value 5 yes it is greater than 5 means we will go inside this if so check if q points right equal to equal to null so as you know whenever an element is greater than its parent it will go to the right so we are checking whether at the right of that node means q whether there is an empty place to keep the new node okay is there an empty place yes there is an empty place at the right side of q so we will keep that node at the right side of q so p will be kept at the right side of q okay 
so q points right equal to p now let's keep it so here it will be 7 null and null so no node p is kept at the right side of q right now and then we will break because now we have found the correct position of the current node p now we will break the checking is over now so we will break so after you break you come out of this while and you go to the next loop of this for so now i will become 2 so check element 3 so now a new node will be created so a new node whose name is p so i will create new node p so for that node data is 3 null is left child and null is right child now we will find out the correct position for this node so again check if i equal to equal to 0 no so go in else so again start from root so q will start from root again every time you will assign q to root now while one so check if p points data is greater than q points data so what is the data of p now that is 3 and what is the date of q that is 5 so whether 3 is greater than 5 no so for this if this is the else so we will go in else so if 3 is not greater than 5 that means p is less than or equal to q data so p data is less than or equal to q data obviously if p data is not greater than q data so inside else it will be p data is less than or equal to q data so inside else we will go c so as you know if p is less than q then that element will be at the left means if an element is having lesser value than its parent it goes to the left so check whether left is null yes there is an empty position so keep that node so we will keep 3 at the left okay null and null so in this way p found its correct position after you keep it you break now you break so this is the complete while till here so you break from this while and you go to the next loop for i is equal to 3 so now for i is equal to 3 so the third element is Two, okay so check make a node for element 2 so let's make a node for element 2 okay so null and null okay p points to that element right now p is point pointing to the node 2 we have made a node now let's find its correct position so at first q will start from the root so q will again assign to root now check whether p points data is greater than q points data so whether 2 is greater than 5 no it is not so go in else so as 2 is not greater than 5 it will be lesser than 5 or equal to 5 so when it is lesser than 5 or equal to 5 it will go to the left side but you have to check whether the left side is null or not whether there is an empty position to keep this node okay so check if q points left equal to equal to null no it is not empty because there is already a node present there so this if is not satisfied and you will go in else so now q will trace the binary search tree q is equal to q points left so now q will go to the left node here so q goes to the left node here okay so now q points to node 3 so after q points to node 3 again here inside this while we will compare node p with q now we will check it whether 2 is greater than 3 or not so check whether p points data is greater than q points data so what is the p points data that is 2 and what is q points data now 3 so whether 2 is greater than 3 no it is not so we will go in else 
so for else check whether left side of q is null yes the left side is null means there is an empty position to keep node 2 so let's keep that okay so we kept node p for the left child of 3 we made it as the left child of 3 so this is the way we trace the binary search tree with the help of q and we find the correct position of node p right so now i will do it fast so now let's go to the next for okay so after you keep it you break and you go to the next for now i is equal to 4 so 9 so check for 9 so if p is equal to 9 and check inside else q will again go to root so q will again start from the root okay for every node you have to start from the root so now p points data is greater than q points data yes 9 is greater than 5 so check whether right child of 5 is empty whether right child of 5 is empty no it is not empty so you go in else so q will jump to the right child means q will go further in the binary search tree to find out an empty position for node p now again check whether 9 is greater than 7 see whether p is greater than q means whether 9 is again greater than 7 yes it is so check whether right child is null so whether right child is null yes it is null so that is the correct position so node 9 will be kept there so with the help of node q we found out the correct positions of the nodes so in this way for all the nodes we find out the correct positions so these are the two important if and else conditions which decide the correct position of these nodes inside the binary search tree so this is the code for creating a binary search tree hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you